honey, I want a black bear. And I keep telling everybody in two years when I'm dead and I'm old and eaten, he wanted a black bear. I just always wanted a bear. I'm a simple guy, but my company sold more than $50 million worth of novelty products. You come from Cotton, I do. Jonah is a whole different ball game. He's equivalent to three children, three toddlers. Three toddlers in the terrible twos is what Jonah is. Have I ever bought you a flower? No. He's stolen flowers. Welcome to Billy Bob Teeth, world headquarters. It all started right here. This is the Billy Bob Museum. This is our company's roots right here. We've sold 15 million sets of Billy Bob Teeth since we started. That's a lot of teeth. I'm picking up Mr. Jack and Song, two of my sourcing agents from northern China. You ever see John Wayne? John Wayne? John Wayne? Who is that? <laughs> they came from a city of 20 million people to the outskirts of a town of 20. I'm really scared to stick gun because I never touched the gun and also I, I don't know how heavy is them. Really, really interesting and scared. Wow. This is Redneck Training 101. That's crazy song. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we met at a nightclub slash bar in Australia, Queensland, Brisbane. Brought her back on a tourist visa. It was only good for 90 days, so. You can't say things like that. Within, uh, within three months, she was marrying me up in my favorite deer stand. Did you uh, get any good? Coupon deals yesterday. Finding the right checkout person is a key to a successful couponing day. I am flipping coupons and saving money on our grocery bill, and, and he's off spending money on more animals. Every day, I meet with redneck inventors. A lot of people come to my company because they know one sale could be seven figures. I am pitching my product called a rack of soap. I got up to answer my phone and I went like this here, hands was all greasy. And I was going like this here, looking around, and I went like this here, and a light bulb went off my head. I came up with a rack of soap. What do you think? I get an iPod. She gets an iPod. I got my iPod first, Cindy. And if you don't believe me, ask my mom. Summer's the redneck princess. She's got the dainty, beautiful, blonde hair, more of the feminine body, but she's the strongest one out of them all. I don't like people getting into my space or touching my stuff. All I want to do is be famous. Sydney is a female version of Jonah. Jonah with estrogen. People usually they live in the city and they have like an itty bitty backyard. You know, I have a huge lake. I walk outside, I can go swimming anytime I want. Our oldest son Scout is a little feral child. To look at Scout, you see this brute little boy who can just take everything and he can't. Scout is having a really rough day today. He, he lost his favorite turtle and he's kind of lashing out. So Scout knows all about the circle of life. Uh, he just emotionally has a hard time when it happens um, to something in his little inner circle. The sage is, I'm going to look like the worst mother in the world. He's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he pees on Rob's grass off the deck. I pee in that pond. I peed in the pond earlier. <laughs> I'm always on the lookout for great ideas and inventors that think a little bit outside the box. My name is Clay and I'm trying to sell some snot. I'm here to present my ideas to Jonah White. We're here today with our effed up koozie and we're wanting to meet with Billy Bob to help make ourselves rich. Come on back with me. It's called the brown eyed plunger. Well, I got the idea of making a squirt out the handle. <laughs> And they're like, bless you. And I'm like, no, I need a paper towel. And they're like, what? Well, I said, a paper towel. Like, I like this guy. He's got no shame. Come up with an idea of sticking a can in a glove and maybe making a koozie out of it. And every time you take a drink, you get a little. You put a glove on a can of beer. Uh, well, I've seen boogers before, but I've never seen anything this good. So you put a hole in the back of the handle, and then you push down in the toilet and this squirts water out at you. You'd think it would be a little more than water would come out there, wouldn't it? Well, it depends on how dirty your stool is, I guess. The best thing for me to do is just to give them the honest to God truth. I mean, how's it gonna, I mean, how's it gonna sit? 
I admire your persistence. I mean, it's great. Uh, you gotta drive. Your item sucks. I mean, it's, it's not ready for me. Make the thing stand up. When it works, bring it back. Uh, I'll do it. Gentlemen told me you'd help me out. I might be able to make a few house payments. We're a little disappointed, but we're gonna keep working at it. And you ain't heard the last of us. I think it's gonna go over good, and I'm gonna keep trying. You don't have to be smart to be rich. You just have to work hard. It's important for me that my kids grow up doing the things in life that I grew up doing, and we're going frogging. Sneak up on them and pounce, you know what I'm saying? Let's go do it. I didn't want to go frog hunting because I don't want to get wet and I don't want to see innocent creatures get killed. There is nothing that could get me even close to go frog hunting or frogging. Disgusting. Gross. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying my best and I'm raising them the best way I know how. It is a balancing act between my, my home life and my business and the demands on me, and I'm, I am working on it. That's a big problem in our house is that dad's gone a lot. I have a high schooler now. I have a teenager now. Now she's going to be having boys courting her, you know? And she's going to have the phone ringing for her. And daddy's going to be out there with a the night vision scope, you know, watching the driveway. He's got a lot of things on his mind. I'm pretty sure this one's on him, not me.